hello! Welcome to Miss Gaunt's online classroom, or as many of you call me, Miss G. So we're gonna work today with our Japanese koi fish, and the first thing that we need is a toilet paper roll. So with this toilet paper roll, I'm gonna go ahead, I can either grab markers, I could use crayons, I could use colored pencils. Um, specifically, I think I'm gonna use markers. All right, so I'm gonna grab, I think this red one, and I'm going to work on doing a different line pattern. Now, you can choose what you'd like, but these are gonna be for our scales for our koi fish. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use a scallop line that I'm gonna create, but you could use zigzags, you could use wavies. You just wanna make sure that each line touches, and I'm gonna show you that as I go. So, I'm gonna start here by coming through. That's my first scallop. See how I start at the top? And then I'm going and I'm creating the shape. They're touching each other as I go. But what I'm gonna wanna do is after I finish creating this shape all the way across, I'm going to wanna start on a second line right below. All right, so there we go. They're a little different in size, but that's okay. So when I start my next line, what I might wanna do is come here and go ahead and create that same shape. Do you see how it's touching? I'm not leaving any sort of empty spaces here. Again, these are the scales of my fish. So I'm gonna come, connect over this way, connect this way, keep going. Again, note how I'm going in between the middles of the shape that I created in my line pattern I'm making to create my next line. All right, so. All right, so now that I'm getting here onto the very last part of my fish, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just sort of come down and come off. All right, so you can see I may not be able to make a full curve scallop line that touches, but that's okay. I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna create that same process, but I'm just gonna go off like this all the way around. All right, so there we go. We now have the scales that go all the way around from the top to the bottom. Here's the beginning part of our koi fish. Now, when it comes to filling in our scales, I'm gonna choose maybe about two colors to do that with. Now you could choose to just do one. You could choose to maybe do up to three. And say I started over here a little bit is I'm gonna come in and just start to fill in my areas. Now I know that I wanna put yellow there, so I'm gonna skip it. And I'm gonna come here and fill in with my blue. Notice how, again, I'm skipping that spot because that's where the yellow's gonna go. And my blue's gonna come here. Oh, but do you see now? I might have two blue that are gonna touch. That's probably gonna happen throughout my design. And that's okay. All right, so now I have the first line of my scales done. It's coming together, isn't it? Now, let's keep going. I'm gonna come down here, start with my yellow. All right, so we can see now that all of our scales have been colored in. You might see on this little area down here, there might be some spots that didn't quite get color because you couldn't quite see the full scallop line underneath there. Now what we've gotta do is we've gotta add on some extra details onto the body of our koi fish. So let's talk first about how you're gonna do your tail and then you're gonna do your fin. So, you can take another sheet of paper. Now, if you have colored paper, you can go ahead and use that. If you don't, you can take a white piece of paper and you can go ahead and color in these spots. Now, I want to show you guys. I have some red construction paper here, so that's what I'm gonna do mine with. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take it and I'm going to fold it in half long ways, all right? Like a hot dog. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come up to the top and I actually, what I'll do is draw this in a darker color. So let me grab a dark crayon. And I'm gonna come here. All right, and you see that this is my edge here. That's my folded edge. This is the part where we have the edges of my paper. But I wanna draw my folded edge. Now to make my tail, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line straight across, all right, from that folded edge. You don't have to make it too big, but I think a little bit. All right, now what we need to do from there is we need to draw sort of a curved line like this. Curved line like this is gonna be part of our fin. All right, so that's line one, line two. Line number three is going to meet at this point. It's gonna start off pretty close together and then it's gonna get farther apart. So it's gonna look like a, a little bit of a triangle. So I'm gonna come here just like this. And now you can see. All right, what's going to happen is that when we go to cut this out, we will open it up and you'll have both sides of your fin. All right, but before we do that, let's also use this space up here where we can draw out our fin. Now we are going to just draw one and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut them both out at the same time. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So, first, to make your fin, start up here at the top, and I want you to make a curve like this. All right, so start and curve out. We'll meet at the bottom. All right, come back to this top point up here, and again, I want you to start at the point, I want you to curve out, and I want you to come down to the bottom. All right, have the two of them meet just like that. So we've got fin and half of a fin. Now let's talk about cutting them out. So I am just going to cut my paper across like this. Put the rest of that away for later because remember we can save our paper scraps. And I'm going to now come here and I'm going to work on cutting these out. So let me actually first cut out these fins and then I'll come back to this. Remember, you do have your paper folded, okay? So I'm going to hold this paper together real tight and I'm going to cut along my lines just like this. All right, and you see how nice and slow Miss G is going? Because I don't want to go too fast. And then accidentally cut out some parts that I still needed. So I'm coming around this side and I'm cutting along my line just like this. And remember, I can rotate my paper too as I go. Oh my goodness, are you guys ready for the magic? I now have two. All right, so these are gonna be both the fins that are gonna go on the side, all right? Now let's come back to this piece right here. Again, it's folded. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna cut this uh, sort of piece by piece. So I'm gonna start actually with this area right here and I'm gonna come to the top and I'm going to cut across just like this. All right, so cut across that straight line. Now I'm gonna come here and I'm going to cut along that line number two that I made. I'm gonna go nice and slow. All right, one more part to go. Let's go ahead and cut this area right here. Okie dokie. We have our scraps now done. Ready for some more magic? Here we go. And there's our fin. So now what we've gotta do is we've gotta take our body We've got to take our, our fin and attach it into both. So what I'm gonna do uh, is actually, I'm gonna first take this and I'm going to flatten one side. So I'm gonna take this side here and I'm gonna push down in about the middle and flatten this out. So come up right about here, flatten, flatten, flatten. I'm just gonna push on the sides. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check and see. All right, can I fit my tail? Yeah, that looks like that'd be pretty good. I might flip it over so you don't see my lines. That looks like that'd be pretty good. All right, and then I know that I'm gonna be putting these on the sides. Well, first, here's a little extra something fun that you might wanna do. So I can create some different lines. I'm just gonna create that kind of fin look. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna cut along those lines, just like this. I could add more than what I have. I only have a few on here, but I think I'll start with that for now. So I'm cutting along those lines. Check it out. A little extra added touch. I could do the same on these fins if I wanted to, but I think I'll leave these ones just as is. Now, 
when it comes to glue. All right, you could either use the school glue like this, you could use a glue stick, you could use tape. If you don't have access to one of those, you can even just go ahead and take something like a paper clip or some sticky check. There's different ways you can adhere these on. I'm gonna go ahead and I think for this, I'm gonna use this big guy here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on the top here and I'm gonna create a little line of glue. All right, I don't wanna use too much. See how I just did a little line? That might've even been too much. I probably could've just done dot, dot, not a lot. But I'm gonna come here. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line up my edges. And I'm gonna hold it down to like glue. As you guys can see, I have some glue coming around the corners. Guess what, that's okay. I can just check it off, just like that. But I'm gonna hold this down for, let's see, probably about 20 seconds, so. Check it out, we have the bottom part. All right, now, what we can do after that is we can go ahead and we can work on putting our fins on the sides. Remember that we still wanna have this part right here that is not flat, okay? This is actually gonna be where you know, all of our fish goes. So, I'm going to take these here and I'm gonna to wanna to glue them onto the sides, kind of like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just on the tip, I'm gonna add some glue. Again, this can totally be done with tape. You could even uh, staple if you needed to. You could um, have some paper clips that come down from the front. So there's definitely ways that you can adhere your Japanese koi fish together. Ms. G's just gonna show you how to do this thing glue. Gonna let that dry for just a moment. All right, so we have the body, the fins on both sides, and we have our fin back. So let's talk about adding on our finishing touches. One thing we gotta create is our eyes and then we've gotta create our mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead here. Again, I can just use another white sheet of paper. Now remember the trick that I just taught you guys, okay, about how we can fold our paper in half. And then when we create a shape, we can go ahead and keep it folded so that when we cut it up, it cuts out because it's folded. So I'm gonna come here with my white sheet of paper. And I'm going to draw some circles for my eyes. So, I'm going to draw close to my edge. I'm going to draw probably about this big. Something like that. Then I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to cut them out. Just like this. Remember, use the rest of your scrubs for later. So, I have now two circles. And this one has some pencil lines on it. So I could always come here and clean those up a little bit. Voila. All right. But now I gotta think about what has got to go inside of those eyes. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to grab a black marker. And I'm going to draw circles inside of those. Now I have the eyes for my koi fish. All right, so I'm gonna come back here with my glue. Or again, tape. And I'm gonna put one on top and one on the bottom. One on top, one on the bottom, excuse me. I'm gonna put both my eyes on top, like this. All right, so again, I can come with the glue. Fish tend to have eyes that are a little bit on the side. So we'll put this one right about here. And then we'll take this one and put it right about here. Just like that. All right, we're on to our final step. So our very last step that we need to do to finish off our Japanese koi fish is we need to create the mouth of the fish. 
So again, you could use colored construction paper. If you don't have that, you could just go ahead and take white pieces of paper and add some color to that. So I actually have some scrap pieces of paper that has something else on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the back of it. And I'm gonna use a pink color for this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a line here. Now I could draw it out first. Just go ahead and draw a line right over here. Oh, that part got a little skinny, but that's okay. So I could come here and I could just go like that. I could also come here and just fold it over. All right. Let me go actually fold it. Let me try that again. I could also just take my paper here and I could just fold it over like this and line up my edges so that I know where I am going to cut it. So again, it's gotta be a straight line that kind of goes across and it's okay if it's a little wobbly. I'm just gonna line it up here. Here we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to cut like this. Cut this out. All right. So now I have a pink strip here. All right. And now what is going to happen is I'm actually going to wrap this, all right, all the way around my mouth, like so. So you can see I have some extra paper right here, okay? That's all right, we can always cut that off later. So what I am going to do so I'm gonna take some glue and I'm going to first put on a little dot right about here. All right, and I'm going to put, let me actually, I'm going to take my glue and I'm gonna put a little dot down here at the bottom of my fish. And I'm going to hold my piece of paper and you can see some of my paper doesn't totally line up with the edge, and that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this down to make sure that it has dried. All right, so now it's down here at the bottom, and I know that it's gotta wrap its way around, just like so, right around this area. Add some glue. Well, first I guess I'm just gonna keep knocking my glue stick over. All right, so wrap this around and go ahead and have that pot meat right there. Now, what you could do is come in here and if you really wanted to snip any area where your paper doesn't fully line up, you could do that. But check it out. You have now created your Japanese koi fish out of a toilet paper roll paper and whichever material you're choosing. Beautiful. Nice job. You did fantastic. I cannot wait to see what all of yours look like. Both my fish and I thank you for coming to our class today. And we love you very much. Hope you keep making art. And we'll see you next time.